<laughs> hey, it's another day. It's another episode. Todd, we woke up, so we have to do this, right? Yeah, just barely waking up. Just kidding. Uh, it's actually the afternoon. Yeah, we... Oh, <laughs> I'm so tired. No, it's a new day. It's a new episode of Your Daily Scrum with professional scrum trainers, Ryan Ripley and Todd Miller. Check out the description. Everything you need to know about us is there, including our new course. Scrum.org has a new course, Professional Scrum Facilitation Skills. Todd was a big part of creating that class. It's awesome. Check it out if you want to join us. Uh, like and subscribe so you never miss a video. All right, that's enough of that YouTube stuff, Todd. I think we should jump right into it. What do you think? Let's do it. Had an interesting question from a recent course. So we, I think we were teaching the, the PALI, the Professional Agile Leadership Essentials course. And someone at the end said, hey, I've got this situation. Um, we're using Scrum, but we only have one developer on the team. So that means it's a triad, right? You have a Scrum master, a product owner, and a developer, three people. And they said, how do you use Scrum with one developer? And Todd, maybe a better question is, should you use Scrum uh, with one person? And, and I have a special guest <clears throat> who should be able to uh, answer this question. We've called in Michael Scott from the office. No, God! <clears throat> No, God, please, no, no, no. All right, Michael. No. Michael. All right. All right. So he hung up. He's very upset about that answer or about that yeah. question. It's like, um, it's like uh, Michael wow. Scott, Dwight, uh, both managing Jim Halpert, right? Yeah, <laughs> like this it's, is, it's like Toby walked is... in the room and he just lost his mind. I, <laughs> this is... question really fired him up. Yeah, all there's kidding, no need for this. Right? All there's kidding no aside, um, we would never, ever, ever use Scrum in this situation. Yeah, yeah. It's just overkill, right? Let the developer manage their own work. Now, maybe if you have a boss or someone there that is ordering and kind of being running interference on stakeholders and giving this person the ability to focus, that's perfect. But with one developer, where, where do you, it's just weird. I, it's just overkill, right? You're you're it, you're doing it for the sake of doing it. I really, be honest with you, you're doing Scrum in a rote way. Yeah, you know, with a a, a group of developers, it becomes this really awesome framework that helps them be collaborative, that keeps everybody aligned, that helps us deal with complexity when it arises, and it gives us a lot of great tools and opportunities to check our work and to make sure work's well understood. But what with three people man, is it a lot of overhead and it actually transforms into a micromanagement system with that few of people, three people, it really becomes the developer getting punished. And, uh, I, I just, I can't recommend it. Michael Scott was a little extreme, but, uh, I tend to agree with them. Don't do this. Um, throw a Kanban board up, meet with your, um, stakeholders as needed, um, and get some work done. Right. And, yeah. and, and get that one developer some help. Yeah, this is a, if that's a lonely it, spot. If, it's, if, it's, if, if they need it. Yeah, because yeah, with one developer, you really kind of get um, tunnel vision uh, with what your techniques that you're using are and how you're applying your thing. I've been this before. Um, but I, I, I also think if you're using Scrum, you're probably forcing it upon them. And, uh, you know, if they're a professional adult that, that is yeah. that's that's working and doing their best. So let them let them figure out how they want to work. I like it. Todd, I think that's end screen time. All right. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Are you using Scrum with a setup with just one developer? Let us know how that's going. Is it uh, joyful? Is it uh, kind of painful? We'd love to know in the comments. Be sure to check out the description. A lot of good info about Todd and I. We're also on social media. Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter are where it's at. Some videos are going to pop up. We think you'll love those too. It's our two free courses. Check out the framework course, Scrum framework, of course, that... Uh, We'll teach you how to go conquer the world with Scrum. Check out the EVM playlist. Learn how to use EVM to discover and define value in your products and in your organization. Some merch popped up. I uh, I love the Squirrel Burger coffee mug. It uh, really makes me happy uh, to wake up in the morning and see a Squirrel Burger on my mug. Maybe it'll make you happy too. Go pick one up. You deserve it. For Todd, I'm Ryan. Go forward. Do some great Scrum things. Story points are still trash. We'll see you tomorrow.